dapat pati po yung wastong pagtatapon ng mga face mask na ganito alam natin kasi po kung hindi lalong lalala ang problema sa tinatawag ng medical waste dito sa Pilipinas 129 billion are used every single month and 3 million are thrown out every single minute. Greetings of peace to everyone. We are the researchers of the study of KF94 pineapple design biomass. As we go along, you may be wondering about the details regarding the study, so allow me to introduce this to you. The concept of the research study arose as the researchers ponder on the given worldwide pandemic and how the medical field plans to mitigate the spread of the disease and other related pathogens. As the looming threat of these diseases continues to ravage the country, the utilization of the necessary personal protective equipment, those of the likes of face masks, is employed to reduce the spread of the disease. In a research study that compared death records across 198 countries that were affiliated with the coronavirus disease, there were a remarkable amount of low death rates in the countries that employed the utilization of face masks in comparison with those that opt to not endorse the idea. The demand for this face mask continued to arise as evidenced by the 3 million face masks used across the globe per minute. To meet the demand, it has been estimated there are 52 billion masks to manufacture globally. These numbers are estimated to rise in the following periods as the country continues to fight COVID-19. However, upon looking at the surroundings, one can see that the production and the demand of the face masks cannot keep up with the proper disposal of such. There has been the presence of the face masks scattered around various landforms, bodies of water, and even some trapped within the groundwater. Upon searching for related statistics on the matter, there have been studies such as Kabiko 2 2020 that have put into perspective the fact that the Philippines has produced an average of 10,000 kilograms of infectious waste every single month following August 2020. The issue continues to develop, however, various government sectors and their initiatives to solve the dilemma fell on deaf ears. As the talks of these issues are not thoroughly discussed within the country, Alternative to diminish the risk provided by the harms of the improper disposal methods of this mass have been realized. This is due in part to the effects of such on the environment and the people within it. As the researchers further study these alternatives, the researchers aim to improve the disposal methods of the biomass within the city of Batangas first and slowly patch our way across Calabarzon and throughout the nation. This leads us to our proposed alternative of the KF94 Pineapple Design Biomass, a mask that could stand by me and stand by you. The production of the biodegradable mask and the disposal method of such will ensure the problems related to the pollution of medical waste as being reduced in a significant manner and ensuring the safety of people and other living things. Our initiative intends to aid in the same way as other biomasks, such as the Soda Banana Stem Mask, which was proven to be feasible to other masks present in the market. With this in mind, the developers of the research aligned their study to four of the 17 sustainable development goals proposed by the United Nations, those being good health and well-being, climate action, life below water, and life on land. In the aim to solve the problems related to the biomass, the researchers set out the following four objectives for the study. Firstly, to design a biodegradable mask that exhibits the necessary tests set by the Department of Science and Technology, Philippines Textile Research Institute in terms of the layers of the mask and the mask shape. Secondly, to test the performance of biodegradable masks that will measure the effectiveness that exhibits the necessary tests set by the DOSTPTRI in terms of air permeability of mask assembly, water repellency of the outer layer, absorbency of inner and middle layer, and the filter of the biomask. To meet the objectives, the researchers proposed to utilize the following design. The developers of biomask proposed this model of the mask in order to satisfy the needs of production and for the effectiveness of the study to be met. The mask is composed of three main parts, the three-layer base, 
This compromises the layers of the mask with the outer layer made from pineapple fibers, which act as the first means of protection. The Kleenex tissue acting as the filter and another layer of pineapple fiber, paper twine coil. This binds the base of the mask to the face of the wearer and secures the face mask. This is proposed to be made of the same materials as the three-layer base. Logo. This is used to signify the product's identity of bi-mask and the biodegradable and composable properties of the mask. Moving back to the objectives of the study, the third objective is to test and evaluate the marketability of the proposed biodegradable mask in terms of fabric, fit, and durability. The fourth and last objective of the study is to conclude that the proposed mask is biodegradable. As for the conceptual framework of the study, these parts consist of relevant variables of the study and identify how they relate with each other. In our study, this consists of three pieces which refer to the input, process, and output. In relation to creating such biomask, the researchers set a few choice parameters with those be. Firstly, the biomask will be advertised primarily for commercial use. Therefore, the mask will be opted not to be considered as an option to be used by medical practitioners. But future researchers and developers can make further adjustments that do not allow for such. Secondly, the researchers will primarily focus their efforts mainly for the citizens of Batangas and slowly build the foundation of the biomask for other parts of the country. And lastly, the researchers will conduct the following procedures in a limited time period However, the researchers will ensure that the necessary efforts and procedures will still be conducted since the researchers perceive that the making of the biomask will be beneficial to various groups of people. The creation of this project will beget a better community since citizens will have favorable insights on how to promote a safe and secure environment for all. The development of the study will extend its help towards various groups of people which include health immunocompromised individuals, healthcare personnel, environmental sectors, pineapple farmers and producers, and future researchers. In order to make an effective biomass, the researchers in the study will utilize the following items. As for the process of handling these materials, the procedures includes the following. First, remove the spikes from the leaves and cut it into squares. Boil for 3 to 4 hours. Add 2 tablespoons of sodium hydroxide after 10 minutes of boil. Drain the boiled pineapple leaves. Use mortar and pestle to grind the boiled leaves. Using the blender, add the leaves with water to refine the pineapple fibers. Lay 10 ml of refined pineapple fiber mixture and add 1 cup of water to the silk screen. Dry under the heat of the sun for 3 to 4 hours for best results. Cut the pineapple paper using a template and order the 3 layers of the mask. Sew the layers together and add the paper twine as an ear loop. After investigating the following materials and procedures, the researchers estimated that the biomass will only cost 8 pesos to make, which aligns to the prices of other masks present in the market. From the researchers' perspective, the process of creating a biomass should be further investigated on the basis of the qualities that it has. In order to do such, the researchers propose a series of testing phases that will test the biomass in terms of its effectivity, marketability, and biodegradability. In order to assess the effectiveness of the biomask, the researchers would like to align their mask to the testing process done to actual mask in the DOSD PTRI. Based on the objectives of the study, the effectivity test includes the following. For air permeability, the testing method ASTM D737 and the Shirley Air Permeability Tester Laboratory Equipment will be utilized for conducting the testing phase of the biomask air permeability wherein it should meet the minimum requirement. For water repellency, the testing method that will be conducted utilizes the AATCC22 and the laboratory equipment AATCC spray tester wherein the biomask has to pass the spray test with at least 70 sprays. For absorbency, the AATCC79 will be utilized and in order to pass the test, the biomask will have to absorb the given liquid in less than or equal to 5 seconds. For the filter test, the procedures presented by the DOST PTRI regarding the filter will depend on the mask that they are testing, but the researchers perceive that the proper ways of measuring filtration will be carried out properly. 
In order to assess the market viability of the biomass, the researchers will be conducting a marketability test utilizing the Leggard scale. The marketability test will utilize a given questionnaire with 45 items in total, which are split into three sections that contain queries regarding the public, fit, and durability. The respondents of this marketability test will be 10 respondents selected through convenience sampling. These respondents will be split among two groups. Group A and Group B, where in Group A will answer the given questionnaire about KF94. On the other hand, Group B will answer the given questionnaire about biomass. This process will be done in order to compare their biomass into the KF94 mask in such a way that the researchers can determine whether or not the biomass holds up to the other mask present in the market. Lastly, the researchers will assess the biodegradability of the mask in two processes. In assessing the biodegradability of the mask in landforms, the researchers will place a sample of the biomask in a KF94 in a pot of loam soil over a given period of time. In assessing the biodegradability of the mask in an aqueous environment, the researchers will place a sample of this biomask in a KF94 in salt water over a given period of time. The process of assessing the biodegradability of the mask will take a period of 58 days. After the time period has passed, the researchers will further investigate whether or not the biomass decomposes relatively faster than the KF94 mass. The researchers perceive that carrying out these procedures will greatly improve the biomass that will be produced. If the production of the biomass proves to be successful, the researchers will be interested in collaborating with the following organizations that may be inclined to the development of such. These departments include the Department of Health, the Department of Environmental and Natural Resources, the Office of the City Veterinary and Agricultural Services, Greenpeace Philippines, and Safe Health Disease. In the making of this study, we as a group gained further insights on the matters of face mask pollution and we perceive that we have come to a compromise in the mitigation of salt. Once again, I am Hazel Colleen Katapan and along with my other developers, we would like to make the world a better place with biomass. A mask that could stand by me and stand by you. This has been the Biomass. Bio